This is the Nokia N95. PhoneScoop has already performed an extensive review of the original version of the N95. This is a US specific version of the N95, meaning that it includes the 3G spectrum bands required for users to hop onto the AT&T's faster network. What we're going to do is just walk you through some of the basic changes that Nokia made to this phone for the US market. Most of the hardware of the N95 US version is identical to the previous version. Same controls on the front, the screen is the same size. You still have the four media keys here, as well as the full standard numeric keypad here. Along the left side of the phone, you have the speaker, three and a half millimeter headphone jack, IR port, as well as micro SD slot. On the bottom, power port and USB slot. And on the right side of the phone is the camera key, media key, and volume toggle and zoom toggle. The biggest change in hardware comes out on the back. You can see that the camera, entire uh, front face of the camera has been revised. On the previous version, the camera was raised up slightly with a hump and had a uh, manual switch here to open and close a lens cover that activated the camera. That is no longer there and the camera is flush with the back of the phone. What Nokia actually did was raise the entire back surface of the phone a little bit to also accommodate a larger battery. They've stuffed a um, larger battery in the battery bay to give the N95 US version longer battery life. The flash has also been moved. It used to be here below the camera lens and now has been moved over to this position here. Some other improvements that Nokia made to the US version of the N95 are not so noticeable because they're under the hood. One of them is uh, upgraded firmware and it also has more RAM so that it works a little bit faster. This is pretty obvious when you uh, jump into the menu system. You can see that uh, there's little delay when you're jumping around the N95 and menus load quickly and also uh, so do applications. Of course what you're probably most interested in seeing is just how well the N95 US does on AT&T's 3G network. You can see we have a 3G connection as noted by the indicator in the upper left hand corner of the screen. So let's choose to go to a website. We will go to goodoldphonescoop.com and see how quickly it loads. So here is the uh, full version of the phone scoop home page. You can see it's uh, still loading. Pretty graphic intensive page and because it uses the Nokia S60 browser it's loading uh, quite a large amount of data and not just the WAP version of the site. So there it is. You know, it took a took a few seconds to fully load. Let's try another page. We will go to uh, how about we go to Nokia's Mosh site. We'll see how quickly this pulls up. Still loading, and uh, that came up much faster. Uh, as you can see, this is a more mobile optimized site. Okay, let's try one more. We will go to uh, a site we know to be slightly graphic intensive. We will go to CNN.com and see how well the N95 does with that. And go. Bringing up CNN and not too shabby, not too shabby. It's got the graphic on the home page and uh, brought up the uh, mobilized version of CNN, which still happens to have uh, some uh, picture content. Another aspect of the N95 that was updated is the firmware and software that controls the GPS system. They made it so that the GPS system will lock onto satellites much faster. So let's run outside and take a look and see how fast it actually does work. Even though it's a little bit cold and windy today, we're going to try to do a brief walkthrough here of the Nokia Maps application which uses GPS. So there's Nokia Maps loading. And you can see that it is uh, working to find a position it has picked up on Denville, New Jersey, initially here, and uh, has locked on, so that's good. So we would like to uh, use this place as a home base. We'll use Denville, New Jersey as a home place. 
and let's search for nearby things. See what we can find. Uh, let's say we're hungry, we want to go get some food. Uh, we will find all restaurants. Uh, I know some good Chinese food places, so let's take a look here. See what it comes up with. And yes, those are confirmable close by fast uh, Chinese food establishments in Denville, New Jersey. So anyway, you can see though that the GPS does work and uh, will bring up some results of, of close by eating or other establishments depending on what you're looking for. So just to wrap things up, the US version of the N95 is definitely an improvement over the original for US people. It offers access to AT&T's 3G network, it offers longer battery life, faster application access, and is a uh, more solid phone than the original.